Hey everybody, welcome back to Samsung in a Minute, the channel that trains you on your Samsung Galaxy devices in around two minutes. Today we're going to talk about a split screen trick that you may not have known was there, or maybe you knew it was a part of your phone at some point, but you didn't know exactly where all you could use it. So as example, let's say that you go inside of your Samsung internet, instead of opening up two different internet screens or trying to pull up, you know, another internet browser and have two of them running at the same time, let's say that you still wanted to browse this screen right here, but you also want to take a look at maybe what one of these little links is talking about. So so anywhere that you see a link inside of the Samsung internet, what you can do is you can press and hold. Then as you press and hold it, instead of bringing it up to the top or bringing it to the bottom, what you want to do is put it into the corner. Now you can put it in the top right hand side corner. You can also bring it all the way to the very bottom right hand side. Really, you can bring it to any corner. As long as it's a corner, then you'll actually be able to open up that additional screen. And then when you get done reading this one, you'd be able to swipe on back. It's going to take you back to this main page right over here. So again, as example, the first time we brought it up to the very top of right hand side, let's say that we press and hold. Uh, what I'm going to do now is bring it to the very bottom left hand side. And then you can see that it opens it up here and you can place it either on the top, the bottom, and you can also place it inside of the middle. And then another area that you're able to get this done at, for example, will be inside of Samsung files. So if you go inside of my files, let's just say that we want to go inside of documents inside of this document here. If you're to press and hold it now, if you swipe right away, it will actually select all of these. You can see that it selected it right there. So if you didn't hold it as long, you'd actually be able to select multiples at once. But if you keep holding, it'll turn into this little image. Again, we're going to bring it up to the very top right hand side. Once you get that done, now you'd be able to read a document on the top and you can go through the the rest of these down over here if there's another thing that you would like to take a look at. Now I do want to show you what it looks like with the Galaxy Z Fold 3 just because you are able to not only just place one of these on the top but you're also able to either place it on the left or also on the right hand side. So if you have the Galaxy Z Fold 3, you can do this as well. You can either put it on top, you can put it on bottom, you can do it right, you can do it left. And again, all you want to do is just make sure that you are bringing it to one of the four corners in order for it to go into this split screen. So if you guys know any other applications or if you want to play around, test a few different things, write some comments below the video inside the description. Let everybody else know some of the other applications you're able to get this done at. But I wanted to give you two examples in today's video video, which is Samsung internet, as well as my files. But hopefully you guys appreciated this video. If you guys did, please give it a big thumbs up. Don't forget to hit subscribe, subscribe on the very bottom left hand side. And if you like this video, the more than likely you'll also like this video. And I'll see you guys later.